Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our latest release of Google Chrome rolling out, version 127, which Google started pushing out late yesterday in my region on the 23rd of July, 2024. Now, if you are interested as to what's new in this update and you'd like to see if you have received this latest release, as always, we head to our main menu, Help about Google Chrome. And after this update has been applied, the version and bold is sitting on 127. 0.6533.72 or 73. Either or if you are running Mac, Windows or Linux means your browser is up to date on version 127. Now this is quite an important um, update when it comes to security fixes that have rolled out because we have received 24 security fixes with version 127 for this week. And this will also now be the weekly security fixes that have rolled out for Chrome. So we can expect the other Chromium-based web browsers to get more or less the same security fixes now rolling out through the rest of this week. Now we get 24 security fixes that have rolled out in total. And we get, out of, out of those 24 security fixes, five high severity flaws are being fixed and addressed and those are addressing common exploits like use after free, out of bounds memory, inappropriate implementation, and so on. So those are common exploits. So we get five high severity flaws fixed, a couple of mediums, and a couple of lows. And thankfully, there is no mention of any zero days that have been exploited in the wild, which is always good news. So 24 security fixes have rolled out in total. Now that's the security side of things out of the way. And now just to focus on what's new. Now, first of all, just to begin with, is if you are expecting any major front-facing features in this version upgrade, I think you're going to be disappointed. There's nothing really going on when it comes to user interface tweaks and adjustments. And most of the um, most of the um, so-called features or new improvements they've rolled out are taking place under the hood. And most of those would not really be of benefit and of interest to your average home user. So I've just taken a couple that I thought you may be interested in. Now, first of all, as I mentioned when I posted my early stable video a week or two ago, they've now deprecated mutation events in Google Chrome version 127, which is going to become effective around about the 30th of Ju July this month, 2024. And... If you don't know what um, mutation events are, basically in a nutshell, they are the global navigation bars that you see on some of the legacy web pages at the top of web pages to navigate through specific websites. So that's basically what's been deprecated. And the reason for this is that uh, Google says that the fact that these events are still supported in browsers makes the addition of new features much more difficult. So that's why they are deprecating uh, these um, mutation events. And at the end of the day, um, the global navigation bars on web pages dependent on this technology will start appearing blank now after Chrome 127. And I have seen some sites online um, that are affected already starting to roll out updates to their particular websites and users because of this deprecation of mutation events. Then heading on to the next one, and there's now support for video chapters in media metadata, which... Um, previously up until this um, 127 update um, was not the case. So basically um, this means now in a nutshell that it will allow you to jump to a specific section of a video or rewatch a particular part as you may, may well know with video chapters as an example like on YouTube. So they are now supporting those video chapters in media metadata um, in version 127 which I actually think is a nice move in the right direction. Now, hidden behind an origin trial is the deprecation of third-party cookies. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because um, it was thought that by the end of this year and um, the beginning of next year, 2025, Google would have, would have completely deprecated third-party cookies, which is no longer the case because I actually posted on this yesterday that Google has recently announced that they won't be deprecating third-party cookies in Chrome after all. And that video will be linked down below and in the end screen if you would be interested because that has generated quite a lot of debate in certain circles. So go check that out if you want more information. But as mentioned, um, those um, the deprecation of third-party cookies is and are hidden behind origin trials. So if we head to our Omnibox and we head over to our 
experimental flags page by entering chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And all we do is we type in 3PCD. So that's third party cookies deprecation, just a short abbreviation of that term. You can see here that test third party cookie phase out. So basically, they've actually disabled this now. It isn't on by default. So this is a good indication now that, as mentioned, Google won't be deprecating third-party cookies. But all of these flags for 3PCD are here. If you want, for whatever reason, to try these out, if you have the technical know-how and would be interested. So I'm just putting it out there just to keep you guys posted. And then here's another big one, which I have been posting on. And it was expected that with Chrome version 127, that Google um, will start disabling manifest v2 extensions to replace those with v3 extensions and that will include um, obviously uh, blocking uBlock origin as I have posted previously. Now I did post a whole video on the fact that Chrome 127 will disable manifest v2 extensions including uBlock origin and that will also be linked down below in the end screen. But just um, if we head to our extensions and manage, manage extensions page, I am seeing that nothing has changed. So it doesn't seem at this stage that Google has implemented um, the disabling of manifest v2 extensions with version 127. This may change and could change in the next couple of days, but just putting it out there, I know in um, Chrome Canary and early preview version, this has already started taking place using a controlled rollout. But nonetheless, um, it doesn't seem at this stage that uBlock Origin is affected and V2 extensions are affected. But obviously, that's also generated quite a lot of interest. And I'll let you guys know if anything changes in due course. So guys, as mentioned, that's more or less what's new in version 127. Quite a light release, as I like to call it, when it comes to front-facing features. And mainly at the end of the day, a security update at its heart and core. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.